Jason Luke are playing with Harwin when Rhaenyra and Lainor return to their chambers in the Red Keep with the newborn Joffrey. There, Jace and Luke show the dragon egg that they chose for Joffrey, and Jace says that he let Luke choose. Lainor takes Jace and Luke back to the dragon pit, where Jace is trained by dragon keepers to command the Max. While there, Jace, Luke, and Aegon pull a joke on Aemond by giving him a pig dressed as a dragon and making squealing noises. Jace later trains in arms alongside Luke, Aegon, and Aemond under Sir Kristen Cole. When Harwin advises Kristen to train the boys equally, Kristen grabs Jace and has him fight Aegon, who Kristen has knocked Jace to the ground. Harwin steps in to defend Jace, and Harwin is provoked by Kristen into attacking him. As a result, Harwin is dismissed from court and sent back to Harrenhal. Harwin promises Jace that he will return. Jace runs to watch Harwin as he leaves, and Rhaenyra assures him that they will exchange letters. He then asks his mother if Harwin is his father, and if he is a bastard, but Rhaenyra tells him that he is a Targaryen, and that is all that matters. At the conclusion of a small council meeting, Rhaenyra proposes to betroth Jacqueries with Alicent's daughter, Helena, in an effort to mend the rift between herself and Alicent and unite their families, to which Alicent ultimately declines. Jacqueries later departs with his mother, father, and younger brothers to Dragonstone. Jace is present with Rhaenyra, Lainor, Lucerys, and the rest of the royal family during the funeral of his aunt, Lena Velaryon. During the funeral reception after, Rhaenyra implores Jace to comfort his grieving cousins. Jace replies that he can sympathize with their grief, informing his mother that they should be at Harrenhal mourning the loss of Lord Lionel and his true father, Sir Harwin. Rhaenyra chastises Jace that visiting Harrenhal would not be appropriate, reminding Jace that the Velaryons are the true family, while the Strongs are not. Jace proceeds to walk over to Bela and Rhyna, with Bela holding his hand for comfort. Later that evening, Jace is awoken by Bela and Rhyna, who informs him that someone has stolen Vagar, their late mother's dragon. The trio, alongside Lucerys, proceed to confront a returning Aemon Targaryen, with Rhyna correctly deducing that he was the one who had taken Vagar and stating that Vagar was hers to claim. Aemond retorts that Vagar is now his, before insulting Rhyna by stating that her cousins can find a pig for her to ride, causing Rhyna to angrily grapple with him. When Aemond pushes her to the ground, Bela punches him in the face, only for Aemond to do the same, threatening to feed Bela to Vagar if she attacks him again. This prompts Jace to enter the fray, followed by Luke, but both are knocked to the ground. Despite this, Jace manages to push Aemond to the ground and he, Bela, and Reiner begin to pummel Aemond. Aemond manages to escape before grabbing Luke by the throat and brandishing a rock to hit him with, threatening to burn Luke alive just like his father, before calling Luke and Jace bastards. This prompts Jace to unsheathe a knife and attack him, but Aemond dodges him before hitting him in the head with the rock. As Aemond prepares to strike Jace again, Jace blinds him with sand before Luke grabs the dropped knife and slashes Aemond in the left eye. The commotion attracts the attention of Lord Commander Harold Westerling and other members of the Kingsguard, including Sir Criston, ordering the children to cease fighting. The children are brought to the Hall of Nine, where King Viserys angrily demands to know from his Kingsguard how this happened, while Aemon's eye is tended to by Maester Kelvin as Corlys, Rhinus, Rhaenyra, and Demon enter the hall. As the children begin arguing on who was responsible for the fight, Viserys orders them into silence, before demanding the truth from Aemon. Queen Alicent comments on what more can be said since Aemond was maimed by Luke. Rhaenyra states in the defense of her children that it was a regrettable accident, that her sons were only defending themselves, and that vile accusations of their parentage were uttered. When Viserys asks what insults were said, Jay states that Aemond called him and Luke bastards. Rhaenyra tells her father that since Jace is in line to inherit the throne, such rumors on Jace's legitimacy are the highest of treasons. Viserys demands for Aemon to tell him the truth on where he heard of these rumors, with Aemon replying Aegon told him. When Viserys questions Aegon on where he heard the rumors, Aegon simply states that everyone knows based on Jace and Luke's unusual Targaryen appearance. Viserys furiously demands that the children make peace with another as they are family, before declaring that anyone who questions the legitimacy of Rhaenyra's children will have their tongues removed. Alicent states that this is insufficient, insisting that one of Rhaenyra's children should lose an eye in exchange for the one Aemond lost. Viserys flatly denies this course of action, but Alicent continues to press the issue, 
using her authority as queen to order Sir Criston to bring her one of Luke's eye, shocking the assembled court. Viserys again demands for Alicent to stop, but as he walks away, Alicent takes his Valyrian steel dagger and attempts to carry out the punishment herself, sending the hall into an uproar. Rhaenyra steps forward to protect Jason Luke from Alicent, getting slashed in her left arm in the process. The following day, Jace is present with Luke and Rhaenyra as Maester Kelvin sews her arm wound. He is subsequently dismissed by his mother alongside his brother Luke, when their father, Laenor, enters the room asking what happened. Following the incident with Aemond and the alleged murder and funeral of Laenor, Jace is present alongside Luke and their cousins, Baylor and Reiner, for the marriage of his mother and their father, Rhaenyra and Demon, at Dragonstone. 